Finding the right improvements to make to a 3D printer is an inherently personal task. Some need a 3D printer that can reach 300 degrees Celsius, while others only care about succeeding with flexible 3D printing filaments. We've sorted through the dozens of new components and accessories available to compile a list for you of some of the easiest and most capable upgrades you can put on your 3D printer, or use to supplement your 3D printing experience. Let's get to it. Motor dampers were on the front of our list last year and they remain there this year. This is one of the easiest modifications you can make to your 3D printer that can have a significant reduction to the volume of it while 3D printing. This simple little accessory is made of two metal plates with a rubber gasket sandwiched between them and are installed between the 3D printer's motor and the frame of the 3D printer. By decoupling the motor and the frame, you are less likely to encounter resonant frequencies that cause your 3D printer to reverberate and whine during certain movements. It's likely that installation doesn't require anything more than the motor damper themselves. Simply unscrew the motor from the frame, use two of the screws to attach the motor to the damper, then the other two screws to connect the frame to the damper themselves. You'll need to adjust or possibly flip your drive pulley over as you'll be adding some distance between where the belt used to line up and where it needs to be now. With so many flexible build plates available, you should definitely be able to find one that fits your workflow and 3D printing needs. Flexible build plates are a two-factor improvement for 3D printing. You can easily remove finished 3D prints or swap build plates in seconds. By using a flexible spring steel sheet as the build plate, you can twist and flex the sheet the moment a 3D print is finished to pop it off and get back to printing. A magnetic base plate is semi-permanently installed to the heated bed using an adhesive sheet, which means you can swap spring steel build plates depending on the conditions needed for a specific 3D printing filament. BuildTac, WAMBAM, and LayerLock are all viable options to consider when you're trying to find the perfect size for your 3D printer, or when you need a build surface better suited for the materials you'd like to work with, like BuildTac PEI for general purpose 3D printing, WAMBAM PEX for general purpose 3D printing and better performance at high temperatures, and LayerLock Garolite for all your nylon-based 3D printing filaments. The Matter Hackers pros have handpicked tools that are essential for a successful 3D printing experience for both filament or resin-based 3D printers. Each toolkit has been thoroughly tested and internally reviewed for utility and effectiveness so you can be sure that these aren't tools you want to miss. Some highlights in the filament-based kit are the adjustable hex screwdriver for easy maintenance and a deburring tool useful for removing elephant's foot and chamfering harsh edges. The resin 3D printing toolkit's metal strainer, silicone funnel, and resin workstation mat are all necessary additions to keep a clean and functional workstation. The funnel and strainer make it easy to pour resin into a new container for storage and ensure there isn't any cured and failed resin prints being poured in. And the mat makes cleanup quick and easy thanks to the durable properties of silicone. All these tools are chosen to help you achieve a successful 3D printing experience. Capricorn XS tubing is the first PTFE tubing designed for the express purpose of enhancing your 3D printer's performance. Even the formulation has been slightly modified for higher lubricity for an easier glide. The inner diameter of Capricorn tubing is tightly controlled to have a 1.9 millimeter inner diameter, 0.1 millimeters smaller than standard PTFE tubing. This may not seem like much, but it's enough to have a noticeable difference in the backlash within the Bowden extrusion system, which means more responsive retractions for reduced stringing. You might see some benefit in using Capricorn instead of regular PTFE in direct drive extruders that need a short length of PTFE in the hotted, specifically if you're printing with flexible filaments that tend to buckle. Installation is as easy as removing your Bowden tube from the collet at either end of the printer and replacing it with Capricorn XS. Changing the hot end for your 3D printer is a quick way to unlock new, more advanced 3D printing filaments, usually by foregoing the PTFE lining and instead using a thin, all-metal heat break which allows for temperatures as high as 300 degrees Celsius. For Creality 3D printers, you can usually find a MicroSwiss hotend in the right form factor to have a drop-in replacement that doesn't require any modification to your 3D printer in the form of soldering or printing out new mounts. For those outside the Creality ecosystem, the E3D V6 or Slice Engineering Copperhead are fantastic options for all-metal hotends. With hundreds of designs available for free on sites like Thingiverse or the Matter Hackers Design Store, it's easy to mount these hotends to your 3D printer, ubiquitous or obscure. For some installations, you may need to get familiar with soldering in order to integrate it properly. But with a little practice, you should be good to go and up and running in no time. 
Nozzles are cheap and varied, and by changing out this one part, you can completely change the performance of your 3D printer. Every nozzle has their ideal use case to make 3D printing easier. Whether it's 3D printing with thicker layers when using a 0.8 millimeter nozzle orifice or resisting abrasion with a hardened steel nozzle. It's important to consider the job at hand and the necessities for the specific 3D printing filament you are using. Carbon fiber infused nylon X, it's best to use at least a hardened steel nozzle or go for a little extra with the Olsen Ruby or E3D Nozzle X for extreme abrasion resistance. Using wood filled PLA, try a brass nozzle with a larger orifice to evenly heat up the filament and prevent clogging from any of the wood particles. Being such a small part, it's easy to have a dozen nozzles on hand to be able to swap around as necessary for whatever project springs up next. Many of the more affordable 3D printers out there hit their price tag by using hardware that works well enough, but doesn't have any bells or whistles. Micro Swiss and Bontech produce their own extruder upgrade kits that include everything you need to change over to a more advanced extruder. No soldering required. Both manufacturers use dual drive gears to grip the filament from both sides to maximize the torque that can be exerted on the filament and a way to adjust tension so soft filaments don't squeeze out from too much pressure. Microswiss and Bontech arrive at the same goals slightly differently, with Microswiss using machined aluminum and Bontech using SLS 3D printed nylon as the base components. This allows them to easily change and improve their designs from one printer to the next. The Print Dry Pro is a welcome improvement over the print dry of years past. When you've had a spool of filament sit out for way too long and you're concerned about its moisture content, that's the perfect time to get a Print Dry Pro and dry out your filament for optimal 3D printing performance. For any level of nylon 3D printing, this upgrade is an essential part of the process that we use daily in our Pulse 3D print farm to make sure our filaments are dry and ready for use. This upgrade even has upgrades of its own, allowing you to fit 5kg spools with one kit or two additional spools with another. Matterhackers has expanded our powder coated PI offerings to include even more build plate sizes than before. By baking a thick coating of PEI onto a sheet of spring seal, a unique texture is imparted on the surface, which itself can be transferred to the surface of your 3D prints. The thick PEI coating is resistant to scratches and doesn't require any installation with sticky adhesives, and because of its spring steel base, you can flex and bend it when your 3D print is finished to pop your 3D print right off the bed, ready to start the next print. If you haven't tried it yet, choosing a premium 3D printing filament is a worthwhile upgrade from your tried and true material of choice. Matterhacker's Pro Series filaments are precisely tolerance using a three axis laser system to accurately measure filament diameter, and it's made using high quality plastics and colorants, which is reflected in the consistent 3D print quality from one batch to the next. We even use a color analyzing spectrometer to ensure that there aren't any color variations from one spool of filament to the next. Upgrades aren't an essential part of 3D printing and 3D printer maintenance, but it's certainly something to keep an eye on to catch the latest and greatest gadget. Oftentimes, an upgrade is as simple as a tune-up or as helpful as, how did I 3D print before having this? And it's worth keeping in your back pocket for that next time you have a project and a machine that's not quite capable of running it. There are new and exciting upgrades being released constantly, so consider subscribing to our newsletter to be the first to hear when something is coming. Best of luck with your 3D printer and any upgrades you choose. I'm Alec from Matter Hackers. Thanks for watching. Hey there, thanks for watching Top 10 Upgrades for 2021. Personally, the first upgrade I'll do on any new 3D printer or recommend to newcomers is to get a flexible build plate. It makes such a difference just being able to do this when your 3D print is finished. I don't know how I survived without it. If you want to read some in depth articles, so you can go to matterhackers.com or to stay up to date with all of our digital manufacturing content, be sure to click subscribe. See you in the next one.